8 Mistakes People Make When Buying Property in Portugal First Mistake Choosing a Double Agent There is no MLS system in Portugal. Usually, real estate agencies have a small inventory of properties to show. Therefore, they will try to sell from their listings to get a double commission, from the buyer and the seller. Double agents won't negotiate on your behalf, because their goal is to get the best possible deal for the seller, which gives them higher commissions. An exclusive buyer's agency will show you multi-agency listings. Their goal is to help you find the best property, by giving you more options and opportunities. The second mistake is not getting legal protection. In Portugal, property owners require a 10% down payment to hold their property out of the market. There are no escrow accounts. Instead, your deposit will go straight to their bank account, and the only thing protecting you from losing your money is a document called CPCV, a pre-sale purchase contract between the seller and the buyer. You could potentially lose your deposit if you don't add important clauses to this contract. You need an exclusive buyer's agent with a good lawyer to be tough and demand these to be added, because property owners fight these types of clauses, but end up accepting them because they want to sell their home. Double agents don't even mention this risk, as their main goal is to protect the property owner. The third mistake is, the lack of tough negotiation. In Portugal, it is pretty standard for properties to be above their value. In some cases, it is hard to get comparables to verify if the asking price is fair. Therefore, you need an exclusive buyer's agent that will aggressively negotiate on your behalf. One of our clients paid 250,000 euros below the appraisal price. Please make no mistake. Sales prices in Portugal are negotiable. So, don't accept to pay more than you should. The fourth mistake is not hiring property inspection. In the US and many other countries, inspecting a property before buying is a fundamental concept. Well, not here in Portugal. The majority of realtors here don't even know structural property inspection exists. Choose to work with an exclusive buyer's agent that has a property inspector they work with and trust. Additionally, the inspection results should be attached to the CPCV contract as a condition to close the deal. You also want to be protected by knowing the property is debt free and doesn't hold any legal setbacks. The fifth mistake is not understanding the energy classification of the property. Does the property have double glass? Does it have insulation? Are you searching during the winter time? How are the cooling and heating systems? If you buy a house rated F, it means your energy bill will be high, but even worse, your family can have a real hard time here. Transforming the dream of owning a house in Europe into a daily nightmare. In the US and other countries, the heating systems are installed on the majority of the properties. In Portugal, this is not the case. So check if the property has a good energy rating before making that offer. The sixth mistake is not having a credit facilitator in Portugal. When people buy a property in Portugal, they usually go to their bank and request a loan. Quickly they think the terms and interest rate is within the country's average, and once they find the right property, they submit the documents to be pre-approved in just one bank. But the right thing to do is precisely the opposite. If you have a good realty agency, their credit department will prepare a finance dossier to send to all major Portuguese banks. The goal is to let them fight for your loan. The credit facilitator will use the information from one bank to get the best deals from the others, and in the end, you will get the best terms and rates. The seventh mistake is Think real estate in Portugal is the same as in the US or other countries. Unfortunately, foreigners are at a disadvantage here. Not knowing the local market may put you in a situation that can be costly if you don't choose wisely. Negotiating a real estate purchase where you live is hard enough, but when the property is hundreds or even thousands of miles away in a foreign country where you may not even speak the language, it can be next to impossible without somebody right there on the ground looking out for your best interests. Some of the things that can go wrong. Let's imagine that the home inspector's report or appraisal brings new issues to light. Your exclusive buyer's agent will advise you on how to proceed and act as a buffer between you and the sellers or their agent. It's beneficial to have an experienced professional keeping calm and offering productive solutions, such as advice on potential issues like legal and planning permission related problems to help overcome setback. The last mistake is the lack of market study for investment properties. With the golden visa, many investors want to get dual citizenship without living in Portugal. 
However, they must buy a property and keep it for five years. Vacation rentals are their first option because of the explosion of tourism in Portugal. Real estate prices, although rising, are still more attractive than in the US. Therefore, it is key to search for the best location. How many tourists visit the location every year? Is it close to the metro? Is it close to the city center or the beach? These and other questions must receive a straightforward answer before investing in Portugal real estate. At Brin, we will help you to avoid these eight mistakes. The market in Portugal is very good for investors. With the Golden and D7 visas, many investors and retirees are choosing Portugal. Portugal offers the best European citizenship by investment option through its low cost of living, good weather, excellent food, wine, hospitality, amazing landscapes, great healthcare, and education. You can freely travel to the 26 countries within the Schengen area from Portugal and immerse yourself in a cultural adventure. At Brent, we are not just exclusive buyer's agents. We also have an immigration lawyer on our team. In addition, we offer expat transition roadmap services to make this process as easy and less stressful as possible. Schedule a real estate or immigration consultation with us. Once you choose to work with us, we will be in your corner every step of the way towards your dream of living and investing in Europe. Do you know that friend that greets you at the airport when you arrive in a foreign country? Here, in Portugal, it is called Brent. So, let's go on this journey together.